There's no stupid dog. There's only lazy owners. <laughs> Hush, but dog trainer Sunny Chong, who has trained close to a thousand dogs spanning his 12-year career, definitely believes it. Picking up and cleaning after your dog's mess is merely the beginning of your responsibility as a pet owner. Responsible pet owner, uh, I guess uh, it will range from indoor and outdoor. When I say indoor, it means at home. At home, you've got to ensure that uh, your dog don't bark unnecessary, create nuisance to the public, and at the same time, uh, doesn't chew your furniture or back from dinner table. So these are basic manners at home. Yeah. So you teach your dog to be uh, obedience and diligence in listening to the owners. Yeah. So this is, I, to me, I feel that this is one part of a good pet owner responsibility. Of course, the other part will be outdoor. So when you bring your dog out, you should be able to handle your dog. So when your dog sees another dog, that the dog should be calm and know what to do and walk nicely and not start to pulling and barking and create a nuisance. An owner, of course, must know how to handle the dog because the owner is going to bump into another dog. It's going to bump into aggressive dog, gentle dog, small dog, big dog in all kinds of scenarios. Dogs, which are pack animals, love to socialize as much as humans do, and each of them have their own personalities even when socializing. Here we have dogs that are trained in basic, in advance, in competition dogs. And you see one of the trick dogs is one in one of my competition class. Yeah. So there are different levels. Some behave very well. They know exactly what to do and they just stay as the owner what they say. Of course the younger puppy is a little bit more playful. But more importantly is that every owner knows what to do with their dogs. In, in all, all scenarios, in different situations, when they meet another dog, they know how to bring the dog to meet another dog. All these are properly covered in my training. Most of the dog owners were like proud parents, eager to talk about their children and get their pets to mingle with new friends. So how did most of them fare in the crowds? Ever since he came home, he's all along been a very sociable puppy. He loves children. He generally jumps on anyone who says hello to him. He's, yeah. Quite, what about other dogs? Yes. He's very sociable. He loves to play with other dogs, but not his own kind. He likes to play with big dogs. Interesting. She's very gentle with other dogs, but she prefers people more than dogs. I see. So she's more sociable with people. Yes. He's better with humans. He loves little kids. Uh, other dogs, he's a bit shy. He's a bit shy, but yeah. is he getting better? Definitely, definitely. Because we always try to take him out to as many dog events as possible. So he's, um, he's a lot more comfortable now. Next up, the fastest eater contest. Not for humans this time, but the top few were definitely shocking wins. Stay tuned.